you know what? I was correct. I was opening. So here's, here's the way I did it. I went to my email. And here I have the backing track. So to show you how, how we get it into, um, into GarageBand, especially if you're on a Mac, an Apple product, if you'll download it and just open it, it opens in iTunes. So when you open it in iTunes, it should start to play. So it's, it's playing now. What I will do is go here to iTunes so that I can stop the back and track. Bam. And this is the one that I had just downloaded. Uh, previously, I did the, uh, the 85. So let's go over here. And now I'm in GarageBand. So we're in GarageBand. I was working on this, but I'm going to start a new project. So file, new, new project. And do I want to save that one? Uh, no, don't save. Don't save. Let's go to the new. And we see here in GarageBand, it says empty project. I don't know too much about it. This is basic. This is the only thing I know. So I'm teaching you everything I know. You click here and it opens the screen here. And great. It says choose a track type. Now, um, I'm playing bass, but I also have a microphone in. I'll show you how you can get both of them in. Um, so what I do, I just click here on, on instrument. Since I had it set up earlier for, well, it's, it goes to guitar, but I'm going to go over here and say clean bass. But you know what? I think I, I used it yesterday with my bass plugged into a guitar and it was really a nice sound. I like that. And especially since I'm doing, um, I'm trying to play melody, I'm going to leave it there and just see how uh, we work. But the main thing here is where's my backing track? I want to go here and I had done earlier, since it's already, you go here, you see it says music, iTunes. Well, I go here and everything that I import into iTunes is here. So that one is MMM. So let's see, go down to the M's. Maybe what's going on here. Let's go down, scroll down to the M's, MMM. So I got like two, three of them. Uh, I imported it twice. So I'm going to delete one, but I'm going to take the slower one and just drag it in. Oops. Not good at this drag and drop right there on the timeline. So now I have my backing track on GarageBand. I also have uh, my bass plugged in here and I'm using the PreSonus, um, the uh, uh, board to bring it in. So uh, inter interface, interface. So what I need to do if I wanted to record, well, let's see if I could play. So if I go here, I have both of them turned on. I can, I should be able to hear my bass through here. Yes. So. Anyway, I hear my bass, and if I wanted to play along, I could just hit this. One, two, three, four. And, and then you have to adjust the levels, but there's a lot of things there as far as adjusting the level of the back and track. And I'll show you what I know here, but let me go here to the, in order to record and you have to turn this off because you'll have the click track and the count also from the garage band, you turn those off. So they, uh, default, they are highlighted. So you want to turn those off. You go over here to track. And then you go configure track header and you have to go here, say record enable. So you click here and now it's enabled to record if you want it to. Now you could actually hit and start recording something. Uh, I have not even looked at this. I'm just saying uh, I'm going to try recording something just so I can show you this. So if I just click to record. Anyway, don't know anything. I'm just.
just putting it uh, like that. But let's say I, I want to bring in, um, let's say I want to bring in my microphone and I probably should have, or hopefully you're hearing me through the other microphone. But if I want to bring in my microphone, I'm going to have to go plus here. And now I can add another track. Bam. And there it is. Now I can check to see if my microphone is on. Check one, two, check, check. One, two, three. So my microphone is working. So I could actually leave those two playing, I do believe. Just come back to the beginning. And now I can lay down something with the microphone and say, uh, Record just uh, so I'm only recording this track here for the microphone and the other two should just play along Let's see how that works So Let's see what happened here. I'm back it up Anyway, my back and <clears throat> my sound isn't right as far as the backing track is too loud, the vocals are too low, and so forth. Now, um, then you have to go to your track settings and if, to adjust that. And to do that, there's something. But the, 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 how is that? The recording settings. No, that's not it. Uh, master. Oh, master. Okay, you go over here, and then you go you go down uh, and hit channel EQ, and something like that pops up. What you do from there, I don't know. I really am lost, but a friend of mine kind of, I, I came in here, he showed me something, and I came in and I set mine for the, the bass, and I don't want to mess with that, mess it up yet. That's as far as my knowledge goes as far as that. Now, now you want to share it. So you go here, and you, have, you hit share. And you, it could say, uh, you want to use mail. Bam. It'll ask you, and you could put title in there. And we're going to just say text. Uh, no, not text. Test. Okay. My mind. Woo. And you could share. So share goes all the way to the end. Bam. I don't want to share all of that, but anyway. We'll delete it. We'll delete it. That's long, huh? That's the other thing is, how long do you want your um, recording to be? So it just goes right there. It's already ready to go. And you just go right, bam. That is so cool, huh? Anyway, that's as far as I know. But that should help someone, hopefully. <laughs>